Guys, welcome back to Crypto Zeus. The crypto journey continues. In this video, we have some more massive cryptocurrency news updates for you guys. So what's the latest in the crypto market? What are the crypto prices doing now? What are some big news you guys need to be aware of currently in the market? We're going to cover it in this video. And then we're going to also talk about where the crypto prices can go in the future. So if that sounds good to you guys, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, comment down below. And I will be giving some shout outs to you guys commenting in the last video at the end of this video. So always appreciate it when you're hitting the thumbs up button, when you're commenting down below and with that as always not financial advice but i hope you guys are enjoying the journey so far and i want to point out right off the bat we are seeing some bullish momentum in the price of bitcoin and you guys know bitcoin is the leading indicator for all the other cryptos so if you guys are holding other cryptos shiba inu dogecoin ethereum bitcoin will tend to lead the rally okay so we are seeing a big increase in the price of bitcoin we're also seeing some really big increases in the volume of bitcoin as well so these are some some really strong indicators for the crypto prices today and we have had some huge news in the crypto market and uh, have a look at this russians are paying up to twenty thousand dollars above the market rate to buy bitcoin so sanctions are getting tightened on the russian economy sanctions from all types of countries are encircling the russian economy right now and the average russian citizen you guys know so they're holding rubles so they're holding fiat currency but that fiat currency that is quickly becoming worth less and less so what are they doing they are turning to the digital gold in the crypto space the digital gold the state the store of value that is Bitcoin. Okay, so Bitcoin is an asset anyone with access to the internet can actually get access to. So if you have money and always remember, you don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is a very expensive cryptocurrency. So one Bitcoin is $44,000 at the time of making this video. But you guys know you can also buy, you know, 0.1 of a Bitcoin or even 0.01 of a Bitcoin. It is also a great cryptocurrency to add to your portfolio to add some stability to it. So you guys know we talk about lots of exciting cryptos on the channel. Bitcoin, Shiba Inu, SafeMoon, Metaverse cryptocurrency projects, but I am a big fan of diversifying portfolios, especially crypto portfolios. And Bitcoin is that digital gold. And uh, the Russians are seeing it as digital gold right now. And they are buying into Bitcoin, $20,000 above the market price because they are so bearish on their own fiat currency. And uh, check out this as well. So Bitcoin cryptocurrency is playing a huge role in this conflict right now. So the anonymous group, the hacking group is offering Russian soldiers over 50 thousand dollars worth of bitcoin for each surrendered tank so you have people driving tanks in russia and now they are being offered cryptocurrency to actually surrender during this conflict so this is nothing we've ever seen in history before so this is new history this is history in the making how cryptocurrency is playing a role in this conflict so btc in exchange for a tank so the russian troops are being incentivized to surrender during this conflict and it is a very very interesting dynamic how this is actually playing out right now and so have a look at this as well so during this conflict this very unfortunate conflict that is happening right now you are seeing a massive massive increase in the volume of bitcoin so war coincides with bitcoin's highest real volume since early december okay so speculators investors people in russia people around the world they are buying into bitcoin right now because right now it is a time of geopolitical uncertainty okay so when people are uncertain where, where do they go with their money they go to cryptocurrency they go to gold bullion they go to silver bullion they go back to strong fiat currencies like the usd even though i'm not a fan of the usd there is still a a lot of money that goes back to the usd because that is still seen as a safe haven for big investors right now but the signal is bitcoin is being seen as a shining light right now an asset to go to and it is playing a role in this conflict and uh, there was a lot of political debate about the russians bypassing sanctions so you guys know there are a huge amount of sanctions tightening on the russian economy right now and uh, there are ways to enforce those sanctions as well so they cannot be bypassed so there are experts weighing in on this and uh, it is a little bit like game of thrones you know whether they can bypass the sanctions or not uh, but there are mechanisms there is a lot of monitoring of cryptocurrencies to some degree and uh, blockchain associate jake chervinsky right here believes politicians should not be worried that russia may use crypto to get around economic sanctions because it is not feasible at this scale 
well required. So you do have some experts countering a lot of the FUD about, you know, bypassing sanctions and things like that. And you guys know a couple of days ago, we did cover it, how the Ukrainian Twitter account, and I've got it right here live. They do have Bitcoin addresses open. They have Ethereum and USDT addresses open on the Ethereum chain. And they have received actually in excess of about $40 million worth of crypto funding right now. And on top of that, you guys did also get that update about Gavin Wood from Polkadot. They have also created a Polkadot address as well. So more cryptocurrencies are being accepted on the Ukrainian side right there. And uh, this is a massive development in how this conflict is playing out. So they are some massive developments for how the conflict is playing out. But we also have some other bullish news about how the other aspects of the crypto markets are playing out right now. So you guys know I'm bullish on the metaverse. I'm bullish on you know the potential of the metaverse. And uh, we do have other big companies like McDonald's. They're filing trademarks. Okay, So McDonald's has filed trademarks for a virtual restaurant that will deliver food online and in person. And uh, this is pretty exciting. So I am predicting a lot of other big companies, McDonald's, Adidas, you name it, they're probably going to go into the metaverse. They're probably going to file their trademarks because they do know a lot of money is going into the metaverse in the future. 2022 will be the construction of metaverses. 2023 will be, you know, the adoption of metaverses. And it's going to be very, very exciting times in the crypto space. And guys, with that, let's take a look at the crypto prices today and where they potentially can go in the future. So right now, Bitcoin is up about 3% in the last 24 hours. So we've had some really nice movements. If we bring out the chart right here, we are seeing some really nice trajectory, even despite a lot of turbulence in the economy and the world affairs right now. So you guys can see this massive climb we've experienced right here, which is pretty exciting. And if we measure this and how it is tracking from this low that we experienced on the 24th of February, you guys can now see this is about up nearly 29, 30%. So that is an exciting uh, short-term trade if you're into short-term trading of cryptocurrencies. So Bitcoin trade right there, that is an exciting one. But overall, the crypto prices today, they're going very, very well. Where do I think they can go in the future? So long-term, I'm extremely bullish about Bitcoin. I'm extremely bullish about the other cryptos as well. So I do think long-term Bitcoin does have that potential, even though it is off its all-time high of 67 thousand dollars sixty nine thousand dollars right here what we probably what we probably will see in the future is a fifty thousand dollar bitcoin sixty thousand dollar bitcoin and i think it will punch through its all-time high of you know sixty nine thousand dollars upwards towards a hundred thousand dollars so i do think it is still early for the cryptocurrency markets and uh you can see during this conflict crypto is playing a huge role and uh it's pretty pretty interesting stuff that is happening right now so bullish in the long term for cryptocurrencies in the short term you guys know there is a lot of volatility so the prices could potentially drop in the short term however i think long term that is where some good money can be made but guys that's a massive update on the market for today i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh today's shout outs go to tyler young cobbs capital right here crypto henry again benjamin ross investor again and bananas right there so i appreciate you guys dropping your opinions and comments in the videos helps me out but that's a massive wrap on the market if you guys like crypto zeus you guys can follow me over on twitter if you guys like learning about other types of cryptos i am covering them on the channel shiba inu meme coins metaverse coins other types of cryptos we will cover them so i always appreciate when you guys check out those videos but massive update for today thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one crypto zeus signing out